Maybe you've heard of 4K TVs ever since they came out or even own one. It's still not a big deal if you still own a 1080p TV. Whatever your current screen status is, you might have probably heard about the new guy in town, the 8K TV. 8K is the next big jump in TV resolution and like 4K, this transition requires new technologies. Here's everything you need to know about 8K, what it is, when it's coming and what it needs in order to function in its full resolution. h k is a bigger brother to 4K and that's it. 1080p screens have a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. 4K screens are double the number of 1080p with a resolution of 3840 by 2160 and quadruples the number of pixels 1080p fetches you. Are you thrilled? Hold on, don't be thrilled yet because 8K doubles the number again from 4K at a resolution of 7680 by 4320. That's 4 times the number of pixels as 4K, which means it's 16 times that of 1080p TV. Massive, right? For context, look really close at your TV. Try to find a single pixel. Wait, I'm not referring to the individual red, green, blue lights. Those are sub-pixels, which means you are too close. If you're looking at a 4K screen, imagine 4 pixels taking up the space of that single pixel. If you are looking at a 1080p screen, picture a grid of 16 pixels 4x4 four four, within that single pixel. That's 8K. It's much sharper than 4K and much much sharper than 1080p. 1080p, 4K and 8K indicates the number of pixels on a screen. HDR and SDR defines what each of those pixels show. Each pixel is assigned values that determine the brightness of its red, green and blue and sometimes white sub-pixels which forms that pixel's color and light and more precisely its hue and luminance respectively. Now let's get deeper. If you've been paying attention to TVs and 4K, you've heard the term High Dynamic Range abbreviated as HDR. You also might be confused of what HDR is and whether it's different from 4K. HDR can be a complicated concept but it's important to understand as 8K continues to develop and would be very much helpful when shopping for an 8K or 4K TV. HDR and wide color gamut take advantage of greater capabilities of LCDs and OLED screens using the full available range of values in light and color. Different types of HDR have different capabilities. All you need to know about HDR in this context is that 4K determines how many pixels and SDR or HDR determines what each pixel does. Virtually all HDR content is in 4K but not all 4K content is HDR. That logic extends to 8K as well. 8K content can be HDR just as 4K content can. It also can be SDR as well with more limited values for each pixels. Of course, most 8K content will probably be available in HDR but we have no way of knowing. There is no physical consumer 8K content available yet unless for streaming services like YouTube. Besides an 8K screen, 8K video requires high speed leading into the screen, 4 times as many pixels, each of which might have more information than pixels typically do, meaning 8K videos take up a lot of bandwidth. That's a concern whether you are watching 8K content on an as yet uninvented 8K optical disc that supports or streaming it over a 5G internet connection. The short answer is that 8K requires at least HDMI 2.1. HDMI 2.1 is a relatively new standard intended for high quality 4K and 8K content. It features a maximum bandwidth of 48GB per second, three times that of the HDMI 2.0. HDMI 2.0 had a standard bandwidth of 18GB per second, which supports up to 4K 60 frames per second video. The lower a bandwidth connection, the lower the resolution and video frame rate you can send over it. Not only that, it also gets more compressed which hurts the final details of the video. HDMI 2.1 can handle high quality uncompressed 8K videos up to 60 frames per second and it can carry uncompressed 4K 120 frames per second video. So yes, that means you will probably have to buy new cables. Top of the line certified HDMI premium high speed cables are rated for only up to 18 gigabytes per second to handle 8K requirements. Your source device needs to support 8K video 
and have HDMI 2.1 compliance as well. HDMI 2.1 defines everything in the signal path from source to screen. Even if your device can play 8K videos, that won't matter if you can't actually get that video to your TV. I'm not so sure if 2020 or 2021 would be the year for majority of buyers to jump onto 8K TVs. They are just very, very expensive and you can't watch any native 8K consumer content on them. They are very early for people who can easily drop 5 digits on a TV almost purely for bragging rights. If not all of us, at least a few enthusiasts would have to wait at least 2 years before 8K TV becomes a realistic choice. We've started to see 8Ks become the new premium tiers, still very pricey, but presently it's earned its position on the top of the line consumer models. One would have to place an order or visit the mall nearby to get one. Expect to see mid-range 8K TVs, likely in $1000 to $2000 range somewhere in 2022. By 2022, the technology would have been more polished and optimized to make manufacturing 8K TVs at a large scale not a very difficult thing to do. Let's not get too much caught up with the excitement features packed in the TV and forget about content. Content is another story and much bigger question to wonder about. 8K content are still having a hard time coming on streaming, broadcast and physical media. TV programs and movies still need to be shot, mastered and distributed in 8K at a significant rate and that's not an easy task to achieve. The BBC and NHK have been experimenting with transmitting 8K videos but the success margin has been very thin looking at the limited tests done already. Don't expect to see 8K become a widespread thing anytime soon. Currently, we still don't have 4K broadcasts in the wild. We would have to wait a few years for native 8K contents to become available for consumers. Streaming video will probably come out first, while none of the major streaming services besides YouTube and others have announced 8K plans at this moment. The first 8K shows and movies to arrive at our homes might probably come from Amazon, Apple TV, Disney Plus and Netflix. Hopefully, we'll hear some rumblings for 8K compatible physical media around the same time. Though Ultra HD Blu-ray discs didn't set the world on fire the way regular Blu-ray and DVDs did. Whether it's 8K optical disc or some new solid state media, hopefully we'll still be able to hold our favorite film in our hands and watch them in 8K. As for broadcast, cables and satellites, don't hold your breath. Even 4K is extremely limited through those services. Besides BBC NHK test broadcast, don't expect to see 8K over the airwaves in the near future. Many people going in for 8K TVs are surely going to watch 90% of their content in 1080p HD, maybe 7% in 4K and remaining 3% in 8K and that would even be few gamers thanks to Nvidia's new 3090 graphics card which features an 8K output. The 3080 graphics card alongside recent PS4 and Xbox also outputs 4K and that's where most 4K and 8K TV companies are going to get their buyers from. At this very moment, any regular person aside a tech enthusiast going in for an 8K is just going for it just to show it off because no content is coming to your homes in 8K now. Content creators and gamers will just want an upgrade from 1080p screens to 4K because most content for post-production are shot in 4K to 8K and finalized in both 4K and 1080p or sometimes in 8K just for YouTube upload. Now when it comes to live production houses, those people are still dealing with 1080p and still struggling their way out to stream 4K which is still not an easy task to achieve. So definitely our live streamers are also going to be in 1080 and below for a very long time before 4K live streamers becomes a norm. My name is Kinkunta. If you love this video, kindly don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.